Greetings, student. Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. A star map? No, I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. That tomb's off limits to the students. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. 
So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Of course. Um, don't let me keep you from your business. There you are, finally. If you were any later in showing up, we would have had to abandon this. I've been calling to the Takata mother in their language. She should respond fairly. Ah, here she comes now. Get ready. This will not be easy. She's a tough beast. <laughs> <laughs> the beast is dead. We work better together than I would have hoped. And here is the holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. I'll just run along now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll be sure to tell him of your contribution, naturally. Forget it. I'm not waiting up for you. That wasn't our plan anyway. Over my dead body.
cold in the dark. I am disturbed again. A human. Beware of this. This spirit, it may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I do. And yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... Oh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Ancient. Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost. I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought. So wrong. Our Jedi Masters, those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the dark side, Yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow. And here we fell. Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies, we revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It, we were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. We came from elsewhere. Our oldest secret. Only, only we would know, we lords, only we would know what our power I cannot, human. It is a secret of so long ago, I no longer remember. You who bristle with the Force, you must find this place. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, uh, so many images. I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. You, you will find the old place, the dark place, and you will regret it. So much power, it is blinding. I, I remember so little. We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not... Obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. What became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? So much, so much time has passed. And yet we have learned nothing. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am 
dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing, my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then. Find my sword and place it on the statue. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. No need? What choice have I? Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. If, if I could return, oh my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. This worm actually made it through the tomb. I'm impressed. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junta Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, 
getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Impressive bravado, I'm sure. Do you honestly think I would let an opportunity to impress Master Uthar pass me by so easily? Especially not for a pathetic excuse for a Sith like yourself. Hand over the sword, Worm. You know I'm the superior here. This isn't a negotiation. As much as I dislike ultimatums, I'm afraid I must stoop. Hand over the sword or die. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. Smart move. You're obviously more pathetic than I could have even imagined. Thanks for the sword, worm.
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the Academy. You must be a Sith. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that?
I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful. We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't... agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. 
All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, what, what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. <laughs> Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done, then. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Eh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned, I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. We should have kept that. It could have made a... Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. <laughs> I had heard that such an artifact existed. Tell me, young one... Did you acquire the device by yourself? You lie. Still, what matters is the fact that you succeeded. And Lasho, does she yet live? <laughs> well done. You gained an artifact through trickery and eliminated an opponent at the same time. That is deserving of great prestige. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. <laughs>